You know, it's hard to have unexpected because you always have expectations as a coach. Uh, I would say the, uh, sorry, from front to back, certainly I would say, um, you know, Jura Willis, just, you know, I mean, just getting it back. But seeing that the way he's brought it, worked every day, um, the continued development of Joe Jackson. I would say jo uh, Jonathan Garvin. We've had a lot of guys that have made plays year one and, and now have to deal with the expectations going into year two. The way he's come out here and worked every day has really been a sight to see. Um, you know, certainly haven't noticed Greg Rousseau and what Greg's done in all the scrimmages. You know, I don't know if anybody can predict that. You know, so I mean, those guys have all been very excited with what they've done up front. Wayman Steed, who really, we just took out of the wrapper because, you know, he'd been injured in the fall. And seeing some of the things that he, he can do on the field has, has been a, a neat surprise. Nobody you know, but I think all these guys are very functional. Uh, it's still about trusting your technique, but the thing is, is that length equals speed, and length equals quickness. It's hard for you to get away from it. It's like when your, your big brother put his form on your head, you know, when you were little, you know, and that, that's really what's happening at the line of scrimmage. So it's hard for those guys to get off when I've got that length of arms, and then I can cover the little guys up. The, the visual to the quarterback, the guy doesn't look as open because of my length on top of that guy. So um, as long as those guys continue to work on their technique and, and do what Coach Rum tells them, I think they both have bright futures. This is the last time I've talked to you basically this spring. So can you sort of summarize where the defense stands now compared to a year ago? Um, maybe in your mind, maybe not just necessarily good versus bad, but even experience versus inexperience a little bit. I'll, I'll tell you the, the, the thing that stands out to me the most is, and I, it, it probably is more into the entire team. Um, Still got to continue to work in the offseason and then that, you know, that, that practice on Tuesday is about how consistent can we be even when we don't have to be. Like, you know, we already had the spring game. We all could have came in and been sluggish, but we're still trying to compete because we're still trying to get better as a unit. So that's all that is. Um, coming around for the next fall, I feel like we'll be in good shape. What kind of progress do you think the defense has made in spring? Uh, it has nothing to do with toughness. We've already established that. It's about, uh, all the newcomers getting in, learning the system, you know, us learning how to uh, play together as a new unit because, you know, we lost some key guys and, you know, uh, whether it be secondary or up front. So we're trying to get uh, we're trying to get that first unit being dominant, like, as, just as much dominant as we were last year. And then the two being able to come in and uh, fill in that spot. Well, obviously, G. Willis, you know, he, his style of play is um, unmatched. You know, the way he plays every play is very hard to stop him. He's almost embarrassing these guys almost every play. Pat Bethel. He's gotten way better at playing and running and pass rush. You know, uh, Coach Simpson came in and helped us. His progress is shot through the roof. So when he played a run, Pat Bethel has been stopping everything, you know, sitting on a uh, run block or getting to the ball on a pass rush. So it's been good. What have you seen out of John Ford this week? John Ford, him, you gotta have more consistency. But when he comes off the ball, you know, he rolls his hips. Nobody can stop him, you know, he's so powerful, he's so strong, so he leaves with that bull rush. Not many people can stop him on that first move. 
I mean, uh, I mean, what to say? Garvin actually, you know, they speak for themselves, but um, he's, he's come a long way, and that's he's very dominant. There's no, um, there's no shock he's got that uh, other starting position. But um, he's since he's been here, he's been working, 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 and um, that's one guy you know I have to watch my back for because you know me and him in the game is gonna be very uh, difficult to stop. Also, the Rousseau, I don't know if they actually got Rousseau. Is it, is it the O line? Is that why he's been so great, or is it just he's the guys really good? You know, he's so long. His first step, you know, I mean, we're fast on the ball, but his first step, without even um, trying to, his first step is so great because he's so long, and that, that gives him an advantage. So that first step, and then you try to come out his arms, boom, he's already beat you off the edge. So that's what, that's what gives him an advantage, even though he's so young. Do you like what happens to a little bit from that offensive line? They've made some shifts and some adjustments. A couple days with, the, you know, a new first How How have you seen them kind of respond to this? Um, chance for us to really see what we got going to the ball. This is really it, you know, spring, spring will come to a close. So we just want to go out there and, you know, compete. We still compete, even though we, we got an extra week. You got a little bit of back and forth with uh, with those guys. Yeah, oh, we, we always get to it, man. We, it, it, it's it's joke, man, but um, I love the encouragement they give me, man. They give me, he, he just, every day, man, I talk to him on the phone. I see him in the weight room. They constantly in my ear, and that's, that's what I need, you know, all the linebackers with it. So. For, for somebody who plays next to Shaq, you know, for somebody, like, what, what type of player is he? Kind of describe him, what makes him great. Well, he's a natural leader. You know, he's one of those guys that wants to, wants to do everything. You know, some days I might not feel like doing everything that we have to do. Some days he might feel like that. So I feel like we got that chemistry enough to where we hold each other accountable. You know, he wants to win. He's a, he's a winner. He's a competitor. You know, it might come off in a certain way, but I know he wants to win at that thing. Who's, uh, who's backing you up right now? Uh, Mike Smith knows all the positions, you know, so like Mike Smith can jump from Mike to the wheel to the Sam. Steve come in. So, uh, right but he, Smith is kind of that versatile yeah. guy, and Steve is like maybe like more towards the will. And will. Steve will be a will. What's, is it uh, easier to, to play your position now with a striker on the field, or how does that change things? I mean, I haven't noticed a difference, you know. I mean, the striker just is like a, it's like a cutter and linebacker, so it's like. Really you guys are a fast defense anyway. Do you feel like that could kind of help you make you a little bit faster, even having that kind of guy on the field? I mean, we always, you know, it's, just, it's basically like a, I feel like it's nickel a little bit, just like we're basing out a nickel a little bit. But it, it, it brings, it brings a type of, a type of different type of speed to that position. You know, Zach still do the same type of thing, but you know, we bring those guys that have bigger frames in inside the box a little bit to, to play with us. So I feel like it can be something special. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Um, well, we, we're starting to 
we're starting to stick with an O line. We're starting to get communication down. So um, I think I, I think once we get with a, good, like, a solid O line um, and we stay with those people instead of having new people around to figure it out, that we'll, we'll, we'll be able to do a lot better because we'll be able to know what everyone, what everyone's uh, like communication, everything like that's like, you know, to help us. How, how much time would you say that as a five man unit you spend together off off the practice field? Um, we like we. I mean, especially during fall season and everything, we go to dinner every Thursday night with each other and everything like that. But, uh, I mean, in the morning, in the, from 6 in the morning to 12, you know, we're together, of course, we're out here, you guys know that. And then uh, in the afternoon, you know, whether it's dinner together, or coming back and watching a little extra film, just us. So, I mean, we, we spend a pretty good amount of time together. How's the bond doing? Like, Full year. Uh, it's a position change, and it's something he's getting used to as we keep going. Yeah, Everybody thought, and it is still kind of a different setup, having two practices, three practices after your spring game. How much has it helped you guys, though, especially because you had such a limited time with that first group? So, you know, how much did you guys appreciate Tuesday, today, and Saturday? Oh, I mean, I mean, to get an extra three days in after the spring game, it's, it's awesome, especially because before the spring game, we had really one work day with that one's offensive line. So, so now we got that Tuesday, we got a hit in practice, and we got something where stuff's flying everywhere and you're able to communicate and that's good and then today it was more of a polished day so that's a huge communication like we're not doing the hitting we're not doing the things like that but we're we're making sure everyone's on the right man and everyone's doing the right thing and i mean it's it's amazing to be able to do these extra three days is there anything that you know that all five of you guys like to do together eat we're off as a lot of <laughs> fish then anything like that or fishing or any other activity oh uh, i mean uh, I mean, uh, I try to get as many people to come fishing as I can. You know, I mean, we'll take Hayden sometimes. I mean, I know Tyree loves to do it. You hear everybody. So, I mean, it, it's definitely something we'll do when we get time off. All right. Thank you, Tyree. Go, go. Senior offensive lineman Tyree St. Louis. So, Tyree, what's your take on how the offensive line's done this spring? Not just first unit, but all around. I feel we've done very well. We're still trying to fit in a lot of new pieces. I've got a lot of younger guys, and I've got a good position to be myself and some of the other guys. But I feel like we've done pretty well. We still need to pick it up a lot more to the team, but I feel like we've done pretty well. If there's something missing on the offensive line, what would it be that you guys need to fix for the ball? Mainly, I'll just say getting the right guys in the right places. Right. We have all the pieces, we just don't exactly know where they fit at yet. We're trying a lot of new guys, like I said, in different positions. And a lot of young guys coming in, trying to get them adjusted to the speed of college football and the playbook. So that's what we need to get ready. So do you consider that, consider, you know, you're still trying to get everybody in the right places. How big were these last three practices to, to have that opportunity after spring game? Right out there Tuesday and Thursday, and then have a bunch of to try and think about. Well, these practices are very big for us. Uh, the, spring, the spring game put us at the best place to know where we're at and what the position that we have certain guys are at. So now it gives us a chance to see we need to keep these guys here, keep these guys there, move this, move this way, move that way, and try to just fix up the whole scheme that we're doing on the offensive line. The, the five minutes. Left tackle. Right. For you, this season, what's the biggest difference? And, uh, and I wanted you to talk a little bit about the scrimmage and you know, how disappointing it was. There were a lot of snaps. Oh, yeah. So, first on up, well, well, for me, switching up to left tackle isn't too bad. Uh, there are definitely a lot of different hips, a lot of strengths and weaknesses coming from playing right tackle for the last two years. So, I feel like I'm adjusting very well to left tackle. And then going into the scrimmage, yes, the offensive line, we were very disappointed in the scrimmage. But we definitely know what we need to come back to, uh, the touches that we need to have, and fixing little things. The little things might be most like that. With the, with the players that you have in the, in the spots that they're in right now, do you start to see a little bit of chemistry developing or is it, is it too early right now? Well, honestly, the entire point of mind, we all have chemistry. Uh, now it's just fixing the, uh, getting the right guys playing to, playing to the right people. They can put anybody next to me and now we'll be able to talk with them. It just matters on is that the best position for that person. It's not just saying we all fit together as well. When you say chemistry, uh, explain that a little bit. Like, uh, what type of chemistry do you guys have, and kind of how did it, how did it develop? Well, we're all great friends. Offensive line, we don't just come out here and just practice together. We hang out together, we live together, we sleep together, we study together. 
and we go out together, do random things together, and try to build like a bigger chemistry with each other. I'm trying to help a lot of the younger guys and the younger talent, so that's my job when I come as a as a senior. Yeah, we heard you describe the, the responsibility of being a team's left tackle, the importance of my position. Well, mainly just being a team off the line, and I really just left tackle. We don't have to line up to the very for it. We have to be the backbone of the team. No matter how good the offensive players we have, it, it only comes down to how good we play. But again, being a senior left tackle, I have the responsibility to not only perform my best every time, but to try to help all the other guys below me, which I'm trying to do my best at. Uh, right. Thank you, Tyson. Thank you. 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 Thank